Good afternoon, YouTube. Today's kind of interesting. It's a little different than some of the other videos that I've been recording. Um, however, I want to bring not just Kubernetes automation, but also how do you take an existing big IP infrastructure, whether it's an entire big IP configuration or it's potentially just maybe an application that you want to, let's say, move. Or let's say, for example, you're deprovisioning maybe some big IPs in, in one location, moving them to cloud. How do you move that configuration over by potentially making some changes to the address in space or by updating potentially the application? Or let's say, for example, you have some specific patterns that you want to now start to automate and move these specific configurations, maybe corporate patterns, maybe corporate configurations or specific com compliant configurations into some type of CI CD pipeline. And so I want to introduce a couple of ways that we here within F5 and the automation team are providing tools that give you the option to follow through with a migration path. And, at, you know, as we're going from using imperative to declarative, there's also different formats, potentially from metal to virtual, as well as potentially moving from, in this case, maybe moving to Velos um, and our new R series system, or potentially maybe the Big IP Next or the Big IP Next Generation type platforms. And so these are the systems that are definitely going to be part of the migration strategy moving forward. So it's a really good time to start looking at these tools and this tooling now so that you can start to get uh, familiar with them and, and, and potentially start to maybe proof of concept them or start to utilize them in your environment. So I want to introduce you to a tool called Journeys. And really what Journeys is, is it's designed as a migration utility tool. And when we talk about migration, it's a little bit different than some of the components actually within the tool. And I'm going to introduce you to a couple of other tools. And then there's a really cool nine minute demo presented by Roman, my colleague, that um, I'm going to add to this. And so just a quick intro. So Journeys is this application designed really to assist you with migrating or migration of a big IP configuration to a new device. And what's really cool here, you can do a full migration or you can do a, I call it like an app to app or an app service migration. So it really depends upon um, kind of like how you, how you want to do this. Sometimes it's maybe easier to do an app service migration um, because there are specific dependencies there. And so when you can do this app migration, maybe you can move to something like AS3. So you're going imperative to declarative. You are using this tool journeys to consume what's on big IP and represent it into a platform where potentially you can make some changes and then have that represented as either a JSON declaration or have it then configured and posted to a big IP itself. And the tooling is really there to help you. So how do you find these tools? This tool right here is Journeys, and Journeys is of F5 Dev Central. So if you actually go to F5 Dev, F5 Dev Central and you look for Journeys, you will find this tool. And it talks a little bit about some of the information really to do a full migration. Um, then it also gets into some of the information to do a um, partial um, where you want to do an app service migration, right? So for example, you can load your UCS file and then you can kind of follow through. There's different ways to configure the objects, etc. And there's going to be a really cool demo that's going to go into this a little bit more about how to load this environment and then utilize this environment within your environment to make that migration. So how does Journeys do this? So Journeys uses a component of a different tool, which is also on F5 Dev Central. 
And this tool is called the Automation Config Converter. And what this tool does, ACC, is it takes a big IP conf and it outputs it in to either AS3 or declarative onboarding. Right? So AS3 being application delivery services where it creates only your layer 4 through layer 7 application services. A DO is more of your onboarding, kind of like your VLANs, your maybe your network self IPs, et cetera, et cetera. So you can use ACC as part of your migration if you want. But ACC is only a converter. And, and that's really what's important here. So the two tools put together, ACC and Journeys put together, provides the full migration. Where if you just use ACC, it only provides you a conversion, right? So you're inputting big IP conf, you're outputting AS3 JSON. It's like for like, what goes in, kind of what comes out in a different format. And then you can then make those changes yourself or work with your professional services team or work with your F5 sales organization to help you with that. Or the other option is to use Journeys, which has that self-service portal that can kind of guide you through the change. So please watch the video and um, let us know if you have any questions and that will provide you with a lot more guidance on um, on how to achieve a full migration or a per app type migration. All right, so here we are uh, on the F5 Journeys uh, GitHub page, uh, where we are gonna go through the readme file and navigate uh, to the section about installation of the tool. So here I'm clicking on Journeys installation. And the first steps is to clone the repository. So here I'm on a Mac, um, so I'll go ahead and uh, copy paste uh, those two commands, which will clone the repo. And I'll just follow the different steps uh, where we're going to create a directory which will be used to store uh, the UCS, the big IP configuration. And then here we have a .env file, uh, which where you can uh, see you know, the definition of that working directory you can customize eventually. We'll go ahead and do the Docker Compose pool, which will um, grab the images from uh, the Docker Hub uh, into your laptop. So this can take a few minutes. I did speed that power up so uh, you know we don't keep watching the screen forever. All right, and then when that's done, uh, moving on, uh, we start the Docker's. So here I just run the Docker Compose uh, with option up which will create the different containers and uh, you know get everything up and running. You can do a Docker PS to look at the Docker running on your laptop. And you can see here it's all up. Uh, you know, and then the last step uh, here, I'm showing you the images by running the Docker images command. All right, let's go ahead and get started by uh, opening the app. So here I'm opening uh, HTTP as a local host uh, with port 8443 and you can see here i'm on chrome so you have to type this isn't safe altogether no space uh, to get to the ui and then from here uh, we have two options um, the full migration or the per application migration and then in that case what we're going to do here in this demo uh, is to do the per application migration in this demo we're going to use the big ip version 13.1 as a source configuration so we're gonna use the Journeys app in order to get the ECS and build a application service inventory, select few apps and migrating them into a big IP 16.1 running on a VE. And then we're gonna conclude the demo and use F5 uh, extension running on VS Code in order to make some update on that app. So here's big IQ where we show you the two big IPs we're gonna use for the demo. Moving on to the configuration tab, uh, let me show you the current web running on the source big IP running 13.1. Now we are back on the Journeys app where we're gonna start a new migration. We're gonna click on start now on the per app migration and then here is some uh, instructions to read. First things to do is to give it a name. So here uh, we are naming it demo per app migration. And you can also set a description, something meaningful for you to remember. 
And then from there, um, the next step is to select your source big IP configuration that UCS I was telling you about. Uh, we give you the option to drop uh, UCS you have on your laptop into the app. But in the demo, what we're going to do, we're going to grab the UCS using Jonies uh, directly, right? So here we are putting the IP address, login and password, and discovering uh, the big IP, making sure the credentials are correct. And now I'm going to click on preferences which will uh, tell us how to group the virtual servers into applications. And to do that, we're gonna use the last option, which is regular expression. And we're gonna run a regular expression on the VIP name. So here I select name. And, and, and in order to explain how I build that regular expression, I'm gonna show you first on the left column, you know, the VIP names uh, on the big IQ. And here's the regular expression we're gonna use. And to build that regular expression, I use this very cool website called regex101, I encourage you to use. So here I copy paste regular expression, we're going to go ahead and click save. Then click next. Jonis will now build an application inventory, where here we're going to see the name of the AS3 tenant, and you recognize, uh, you know, the name is the first part of the visual server name, you know, uh, we were looking at it earlier on the big IQ. And here I'm just clicking on one of them to show you uh, the app name, which was also built out of the regular expression we uh, used together. So now let's go ahead and search one specific IP, the dot 19, which uh, as you can see here is located into the prod corp IS3 tenant in the juice box app. And we have this virtual server here. So here, what we're going to do here, we're going to change uh, the IP address to 119. And I'm showing you all the different components of the app. We have a couple, uh, you know, we have a cert and, and keys associated to the app, a pool member node. And, and here, what we can do, uh, if we click to the AS3 preview uh, button, we can see the AS3 declarative uh, declaration uh, of that service, of that app. Uh, here we highlight the dot uh, 119 we just modified. Back on the application inventory now, uh, we're going to proceed with the deployment. Going to the, this page, uh, first of all, you have to select the app you have uh, you want to deploy. So here we are selecting the prod app we modified the IP. And uh, Johnny's offer a number of diagnostics here. Um, for the demo, we're just going to select one of them. And then from there, uh, we're going to go ahead and deploy. But no, you can also download the AS3 JSON file along with the reference objects to do the deployment yourself. Plug that AS3 JSON, uh, you know, in the pipeline or, you know, in any automation tools you may use. But here you can use the tool, the journeys tool, in order to uh, deploy that AS3 app. So here uh, we are setting up the IP address of the big IP as well as the IP address of the big IQ and credential as or big IP is managed by big IQ. So let's go ahead and uh, deploy now. Here's a summary page where you can follow the different steps, including the deployment of the reference objects, as well as the AS3 apps and the diagnostics. Once the process is completed, we can uh, scroll down through the page and see the detailed results. And now moving back uh, on the big IQ side of things where we can see our application service deployed on the application dashboard on the big IQ. So here I'm just looking at the configuration uh, tab in the big IQ and look at that AS3 app we just uh, created uh, here today on the VIP uh, 119. Let's move on to the big IP where uh, we have to change the partitions here uh, because remember we have created uh, that app uh, into a tenant called DC1 prod. And here I'm just showing you the detail of that VIP uh, creating uh, using AS3. So now let's switch gears and uh, use the F5 extension on VS Code. So VS Code is a free tool you can download uh, you know, on the web. Uh, and here, I'm not going to show you how to install the, the extension, but I'm going to show you how to use it to modify the app. So here, I just uh, plug in the IP address of the PIQ and the login and password. So here we'll see uh, under AS3 uh, the targets, which are the big IPs, and the list of AS3 tenants. 
So here we're going to uh, expand and click on uh, the one that we just migrated over to the big IQ, um, you know, big IP 16.1. And you can see here the AS3 uh, declarative uh, configuration of our service. And for the demo here, we're going to change the translate server address from true to false. And uh, then after doing that, we click right and then post as AS3 declaration, which will send this whole AS3 declaration, including your change, to the big IP through the big IQ. And this concludes the demo. I just want to also let you know the Journeys app has a full open API spec uh, you can use here. I'm just showing you in a swagger uh, all the different APIs called you can use to automate the flow I just demoed you earlier. Uh, you know, either the full migration uh, or the per application migration uh, we've, uh, we've, we've seen today.